So I'm going to do a very quick demo of uh, making a fairly natural brick wall using a combination of the snapping tools that I've been working on and the color jitter settings, which have just been improved. Um, so first I'm going to turn my snap grid onto one and you can see there's now a preview that follows the cursor. I'm going to use, uh, oops, use the mat hull and a kind of earthy texture for the brick. I'm not going to worry too much about that moment because I'm going to change it. So this requires a bit of a steady hand. Even with the snapping, it's quite easy to get it a bit wrong. Okay, so that is a single brick. Uh, I can now, whoops, angle snapping on 90 degrees so that the rotation doesn't rotate as I move it. And I'll create a single repeat of bricks. Select that. And uh, duplicate it and then move the copy. Just keep repeating that. Oops. Once it gets past a certain size, it's worth grouping it because it gets to be a bit of a pain selecting it otherwise. Now it's grouped, it's easier to select and duplicate. And you can just build up your wall like that. Now you can see it's so tightly connected you can't see the individual bricks. We'll fix that in a bit. But um, I'll just make the wall one section bigger. Uh, should we go one higher? There we go. Oops. There we go. Now, there's a brick wall. Next thing I want to do is change my color jitter settings. So there's a bit of jitter of both brightness and saturation. And I can go to the repaint tool and make sure that recolor is on and jitter is on. And I drag over that. Each brick gets given a slightly random color based on um, based on the settings here, which randomize the base color I've got chosen. So I might be able to choose a slightly more slightly readier brick color there. Oops, a bit too purple. And I can, I can miss a few, so I'll get a few patches that have got the original earth tone in just for a bit of variety. So it's st still very regular and even, whereas and you're not seeing any gap between the bricks. So to improve that slightly, I'm going to turn my color jitter settings down and instead I'm going to put a tiny amount of position jitter on and um, I can turn off recolor there. The only button I need on at this point is is the jitter setting under repaint. Now as I sweep over it, it's moving the control points for each brick ever so slightly add a bit of randomness to the shape. Let's, um, I'll show you what it looks like. If you do tons of that, you get that kind of thing going on, which is probably a bit extreme. But I am going to turn it up a little bit more. Maybe that. Because I do want my brush bricks to be a bit more messy and organic. Um, so this isn't 
I mean, I'm not saying this is realistic, but it's realistic enough for a kind of low poly scene. Certainly a lot easier than doing it by hand. Um, and you can see it's done that to both sides. There you go. Very quick brick wall.